Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Newton and this is the Melhores Seu Inglês Podcast. And in this week's episode, we are going to learn how to use as if, as though, and like. As if, as though, and like. So, you can use as if or as though to say how somebody or something looks, sounds, or feels. So, let's see some examples. That house looks as if it's going to fall down. That house looks as if it's going to fall down. Helen sounded as if she had a cold, didn't she? Helen sounded as if she had a cold, didn't she? I've just come back from holiday, but I feel very tired. I don't feel as if I've just had a holiday. I've just come back from holiday, but I feel very tired. I don't, I don't feel as if I've just had a holiday. You can use as though in all these examples. I don't feel... As though I've just had a holiday. I don't feel as though I've just had a holiday. In informal spoken English, you can also use like. That house looks like it's going to fall down. That house looks like it's going to fall down. Compare. You look tired. Look is an adjective. You look tired. You look as if you haven't slept. You look as if you haven't slept. Look as if plus subject plus verb. You can say it looks as if or it sounds as if. For example, Sandra is very late, isn't she? It looks as if she isn't coming. Sandra is very late, isn't she? It looks as if she isn't coming. We took an umbrella because it looked as if it was going to rain. We took an umbrella because it looked as if it was going to rain. Do you hear that music next door? It sounds as if they are having a party. Do you hear that music next door? It sounds as if they are having a party. You can also use as though or like. It looks as though she isn't coming or it looks like she isn't coming. So, for example... Let, let's see it again. It looks as though she isn't coming or it looks like she isn't coming. You can use as if or as though with, verb, with other verbs to say how somebody does something. For example, he ran as if he was running for his life. He ran as if he was running for his life. After the interruption, The speaker went on talking as if nothing had happened. After the interruption, the speaker went on talking as if nothing had happened. When I told them my plan, they looked at me as though I was mad. When I told them my plan, they looked at me as though I was mad. In informal spoken English, you can also use like in these examples. So... After as if or as though, we sometimes use the past when we are talking about the present. So let's see an example. I don't like Tim. He talks as if he knew everything. I don't like Tim. He talks as if he knew everything. The meaning is not past in this sentence. We use the past as if he knew because the idea is not real. Tim does not know everything. We use the past in the same way in if sentences and after wish. Let's see some examples. She is always asking me to do things for her as if I didn't have enough to do already. She is always asking me to do things for her as if I didn't have enough to do already. Gary is only 40. Why do you talk about him as if he was an old man? Gary's only 40. Why do you talk about him as if he was an old man? 
And when you use the past in this way, you can use were instead of was. For example, why do you talk about him as if he were an old man? Or why do you talk about him as if he was an old man? You can use both ways. They treat me as if I were their own son. They treat me as if I was their own son. So, you can use it both ways also. And that's this week's episode. And this was the Melhor em Seu Inglês podcast. Para aulas de inglês por Skype, focadas em conversação, individuais, personalizadas e para todos os níveis. Basta entrar em contato comigo ou com a professora Erika nos nossos sites Melhor em Seu Inglês Instagram, Melhor em Seu Inglês Facebook e o blog Melhor em Seu Inglês ou nos contate diretamente no WhatsApp 31 99143 7388 31 91437388. Keep studying and improve your English!